In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change out a wheel suit. Stay tuned. Stay ready, my friends. Pow, pow, pow. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get the wheel removed. I know that I've already removed some springs, as you can see here, um, which I accidentally did. Um, I was going to do it on video, but I just kind of got in a hurry. So you're going to remove the wheel, remove the brake rotor, which might take a little bit of jiggling back and forth. Sometimes um, it requires removing a couple of um, bolts that are holding the rotor in place. Um, but once you remove um, the main screws up top, as well as um, the bottom screw holding in the adjuster plate, then um, you're able to spread these apart and you're able to gain access to this wheel cylinder. And generally the wheel cylinder will have um, these two little nubs that push the brakes out and that's how it's done is through hydraulic pressure. So then what you're going to want to do, or what I tend to usually do is I will take my socket and there will be two bolts on the back side of here. So these are the two bolts on the back side here and this is the line. So I'm going to put on a pipe wrench or a line wrench and I'm going to try and break that free. If that won't come free then I'll take these bolts out and I'll pull the line through a little bit and try and untwist it off of the actual brake cylinder itself. Okay so now that we're back out here I'm just going to crack these bolts loose on the back side so that I know that they'll spin free. And just give them a couple little spins just like that. Come over to the other one. And just like I said, crack them free. Now, it does help to use a little bit of penetrating fluid on that line that I showed you behind. To give you guys an idea of what a line wrench is, um, it's like this so it's closed in on both sides but it's enough to fit the line right through it and that's so you're able to grab all sides and that helps free up rusted lines and stuff like that. Put that line wrench on there and keep an eye on it. Take a rubber mallet and just kind of shock it free. We got lucky on this one. This one actually is spinning fine. It's not actually rusted. The fitting is not rusted to the actual line. And then you just want to break it free like that so you get enough so you can turn it by hand. So once you've got that all freed up, then go ahead and remove those two bolts I showed you. And this line, I had to use the wrench to pull it all the way out. Um, so that will happen sometimes. So there's the first bolt. And there's a second bolt, and since I disconnected that line, we are good to go. And then uh, what I tend to do, um, so I don't have to um, bleed them as much when I'm done doing all of them. I'll grab a bucket and I'll let the dirty brake fluid run out of the line and I found that that um, was pretty helpful and I'll do that while I'm putting in the new brake cylinder and cleaning up and you know if it is a front wheel greasing the hub and all that good stuff. If you guys are wondering what a brake cylinder looks like um, this, is what, this is what they look like. Hydraulic pressure comes in here and when you push on the brake it pushes that pressure which pushes these nubs out and into the brake shoes. So at this point if you are doing the brakes and everything um, you're more than welcome to do whatever you want. Um, you can spray some brake clean in here. Um, I'm just going to wipe off some of the brake fluid out of it 
Um, so I'm not doing a full brake job. If I was, I would be cleaning out this whole area and replacing the pads and probably the springs as well. And um, yeah, so uh, first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and pull that little plug. And it helps if you can pair it. I know that this is the right one um, because I've done the other side already. And you want to kind of wiggle it in there. And then what I'll do is I'll get a bolt and start it on the back side um, just so it's held in the correct orientation. And I'll grab the other bolt and kind of start threading that one on as well. And I can see our brake fluid is starting to turn clear, so that means that we're getting closer to that new fluid that we put in on our master cylinder. So then once you get this on and you're starting to run clear, then you're just going to do everything in reverse. So you're going to take your line wrench, you're going to take your brake line and plug your brake line plug your brake line in and start to thread it in by hand you don't want to just start doing this with a wrench because you could cross thread it and that would not be fun a little extra work that you don't really have to do if you just do it right the first time so Get that started in there and thread it down. So once you get that tightened down in the back, um, then you're going to go ahead and take your socket and you're going to tighten down those two bolts and you just want to snug them up this isn't there's no torque spec to my knowledge on these just make sure they're on there good but you don't want to strip them out and muscle these things in so <sighs> Then once you do that, make sure everything's in there correctly. Just look, use your mind. And then what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start putting the springs back in the orientation that they were. If you have suggestions for upcoming videos or have something you'd like to see, comment below. Oh.